Hi there, I'd just like to tell you a little bit more about perfect fit clipping blinds. This time we'll talk about side blinds. Uh, side blinds have been around for a while now, probably five or six years, and they clip into the side of a conservatory or in fact any window throughout the house. Um, they do clip in just like other roof blinds that we've been talking about, but uh, they use different clips. This is a side blind clip. And that's a roof blind clip. You can see that one's quite a lot smaller than the other. Uh, basically, that's because the side blind, you don't need to hold the weight of the blind up. All you need to do is check that it's held into the window because the window itself supports the weight of the side blind. Okay, so they're a lot smaller, but they're, um, they're clipped home in exactly the same way. If you look around your, your window, you'll see the black membrane that's where the tongue of the clip goes into. Once it's in there, it's um, quite a simpler operation to, to get the side window blind on there. Let me show you one. <coughs> okay, so we've got a pleated blind here. If you can imagine that the that's clipped home into the window already, and then it just clips in place. Okay, there are four on this pleated uh, side blind, and obviously to unclip them you just insert a screwdriver, depress the tab, and the clip or the frame will drop out the window. Um, do be careful with big frames, obviously. Right, so that that's the clips themselves. Um, they're very straightforward. Let's have a look at the finer points of the blinds. Um, particularly this pleated blind because pleats are fairly simple but you need to be aware that with side blinds the uh, pleats can drop out and what I mean by that is once gravity gets to work these pleats can actually flatten out over the years and if you've ever seen a pleated blind that's quite old and flat they look absolutely horrible. Um, ours don't do that because they've got something called equipleat or unipleat, depending where you get your blinds from. Uh, unipleat comes from a Eclipse, Equipleat from um, Lugolite. Um, and basically, it's this tape here which makes sure that the pleats are e equally, equally dis distanced from each other. Um, and it makes sure, again, that your pleats don't drop out, which is very important. So that's the... Uh, Pleated blind, whoever you go to, make sure that you get unipleat or equipleat, otherwise in a few years time you might be sorely disappointed. Okay, let's move on a little bit to um, Venetian blinds, because with side blinds of course, you can get other types of blinds. You, you can only get pleated blinds for the roof because you need the shapes. You can't get shaped Venetians and you can't get shaped roller blinds in perfect fit format. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the Venetian blind. Now this one, uh, unfortunately, has been uh, knocked about a bit, but I think it'll demonstrate the point I'm trying to make. Basically, it's again a clipping blind. These days, with uh, these blinds, they have, um, they're equipped with something called Smooth Glide. Now Smooth Glide is where you push the bottom rail up and down. Uh, unfortunately, I've got the old type here, which is called operated. Um, it's not in a very good condition, this blind, by the looks of it. However, cord operation is a bit old hat because you've got a cord. Uh, blind manufacturers today are very conscious about child safety. And the last thing they want hanging around is a cord. Uh, of course, that can end up in court, I think. Um, so basically, these days, you wouldn't have the cord. You would have smooth glide, which means that you just operate it by hand. And you would have a tilt rod to actually tilt the slats. Now, as I say, these, this has seen better days, but you can get the drift. So with a Venetian blind, it's the only perfect fit blind that you would have where you've got a, a control, a dangling control. Okay. Now, tilt rod's not too much to worry about because a child can't get entangled with it. But for every Venetian blind you have, you will have a tilt rod. So do be aware of that if you choose Venetians. Uh, Venetians themselves, so of course, the only blind um, for the perfect fit side blinds, which will give you more versatility because you can tilt them and draw them. 
uh, with pleated lines and roller lines which I'll show you all you can do is push them up and down so let's, lastly let's move on to roller blinds here's a roller blind I don't like this fabric personally but the good thing with roller blinds is that you've got a choice of thousands of fabrics so you can match it to the roof or whatever else you want um, very nice smooth operation just tilt the bottom bar to uh, lock it into position like that Again, you've got the pleated frame, uh, the, the clipping frame here, the four clips, two at the top, two at the bottom, and you've got a um, pre tension roller blind here. Now, one thing to point out with roller blinds is that you've got a tensioning spring in there in the roller itself. What that means is that there's a slight restriction with roller blinds. You can only make this tensioning spring uh, a certain width i.e. Uh, you can't make it narrower the whole blind than 300 millimeters so if you've got narrow windows say seven inches or something you won't be able to fit roller blinds uh, you'd probably be able to get a, a um, venetian blind or a pleated blind in there instead so that could be a slight restriction but lovely product um, the latest rollers with this tilting bottom bar are even better than the old version uh, that's a little bit about side blinds, you've got loads of choice, if you need any further help with that, obviously don't hesitate to um, give us a call or whatever. I hope that's been of interest to you, um, as, you know, I could drag on endlessly about side blinds generally, but uh, that, that's uh, a good introduction to the three types that are available in perfect fit. I uh, hope that's answered all your questions. If not, please don't hesitate to go to our website, conservatoryroofblinds.net.